All right, hello everyone, it's Happy, and today we're going to be going through an updated HE guide on how HE shells work because I don't think everyone still knows how they uh, truly work in 2022. So, this is going to be an updated guide and a newer version of how they work. So, pretty much here we are, and we're going to be using the Jagdpanzer E100 as an example. So, we have an object um, 260 here. And as you can see, I have HE loaded and I'm shooting the top parts of the hull where the armor is the thickest and I'm doing zero damage. However, when I'm shooting under the tank, I'm doing some sort of damage. Now, why do you guys think this is? This is because HE mechanics in the game are somewhat realistic. Of course, quote unquote realistic. It is because shrapnel travels just like it would in real life. So therefore, as you can see, when the shrapnel or the HE shell explodes underneath the tank, the shrapnel is able to penetrate the weaker part of the armor, which is, on, uh, which is underneath the tank. Again, same example here. If I shoot to the very top of the tank, we're going to do minimal amounts of damage because less and, s and less shrapnel are traveling towards the bottom part of the tank where there is less uh, where there is less armor. However, the lower we go, the more damage we do simply because shrapnel is able to penetrate the top part of the tank where the armor is the thinnest again we're going to be looking at the exact same replay as you can see the thickest part of the armor does zero damage because shrapnel cannot penetrate anything however when we shoot underneath the tank the shrapnel well when the he shell explodes the shrapnel is able to travel upward where the armor on the tank is the weakest. So I think the bottom part of the tank has like 20 millimeters on most. Therefore, you're going to be doing a lot of damage. Similarly, again, we shoot the bottom part. And then similarly, if we look at the top part of the hull, as you can see here, the shrapnel uh, can travel towards the top parts of the hull where the armor is the weakest. Again, another example, if we go from the very top downward, the amount of damage will increase. As you can see there, it was only 80, and then it's going to get closer to 100 or more than 100, and then it's definitely going to be more than 100. As you can see, 125, and now the last shot should be more than 125 because it is closest to the top part of the hull. Therefore, shrapnel travels, uh, um, tr more shrapnel travels there, and therefore you can do more damage. I think this makes... Uh, complete sense in this regard anyone who who does some sort of physics in school would understand this as well and uh, the weaker the armor the more shrapnel travels there and you will do more damage well another thing about he is that if you do shoot objects for example like walls little fences or uh, even um or even spaced armor, it will usually stop the HE shell. That's why when your gun hit gets hit by the enemy tank, your, uh, well, their shot doesn't necessarily go through or do any damage. So that's very simple. Again, even small boxes can stop HEs. Boom, as you can see, they don't go any further than that. However, another cool trick is if someone is very low on HP, you can usually shoot underneath them. Or if they are peeking with their side and you can't really, uh, you know, do any damage, you can just shoot them close to the trank and they will pretty much die. So yeah, again, that was a quick update on the HE guide. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And with that, happy is out and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.